Hello everyone, it's Miros and this is my OnePlus 12 and today is the day OnePlus just released the global firmware for this device because as I already explained you in my previous video where I made the full review of this device, you can watch it here. I explained you that this is the Chinese version of this device, why? Because it is released earlier and of course it's cheaper than the global version, that's why I just purchased a Chinese version of this device and now Oppo release the global firmware version for this device and we will switch from Chinese to global version. What's the difference? Chinese version is using Opus Color OS, global version is using Oxygen OS for OnePlus. That's the difference. Now let me just show you. Alright, you can see now if I go in settings and scroll down and on about device you can see it's using color os even this is the oneplus 12 device now to be honest everything is working perfectly with this device not uh, even any problem with uh, this color os version uh, 14 and android 14 but this is oneplus device that's why i just want to switch to oxygen os pjd 110 the global version will be cph something i just want to switch to global version of oxygen os for my oneplus 12 just to feel the oneplus experience that's what i was waiting for but before we start with the actual flushing we have some work to do so first you need to go in settings about device and find version and from here just you need to tap seven times on version number and that will unlock the developer options as you can see it's written no need you are already already a developer because i already enabled that now when you are ready just go back to the main settings menu and from here select additional settings and find developer options here it is now it's unlocked so when you are ready with this guys before we start with the actual process just keep in mind everything will be reset from your device that's why back up everything everything should be backed up also in this guide i will switch to global version european version mostly but you can switch to indian version and also other versions just check the links in video description i will leave everything there because i'm using a guide from xda developers forum which i will go after a second but keep in mind you can find everything there all right so when you enable developer options and you are here in them you need to enable that oem unlocking and guys again everything will be deleted from your device and bootloader will be unlocked and just enable it of course it will ask for your pin pattern we will ask you one more time once enabled the device protection features will no longer be available so keep in mind that just enable it and now we are ready here now from here when we enable developer options and we enable oem unlocking we need to move to our computer keep in mind without computer this process can't be done okay now we are at our computer and here guys you can find that post from a guy Kanuk Narf we need to thank him of course if you are XDA developers member just hit here the like button and he create a very easy zip archive which uh, we will use it just tap here it has a password of course FTH just uh, check the post in XDA developers when you open it here just enter the password unlock file and just download it keep in mind this is the big this is a big file it is 6.1 gigabytes so when you are ready just uh, hit download button and just download the file all right when you're ready download the files again you need to go to that website ncunlock.com and give credit to this guy of course because it put a lot of efforts to create everything for us here you will find your original files your files for uh, global firmware oxygen os and everything that you need from here you need firstly to download uh, this oppo latest ntk qocom driver setup and 
just install them on your computer download the drivers and install them here you can see here are my drivers let's just uh, extract them and of course we need to install them it's a little bit in Chinese but we are familiar with that menu and we are ready with the drivers now after the drivers are installed you need if you don't have already you need to go to that link this is android uh, developers android website and download android sdk platform tools for windows mac or linux or linux just uh, wherever operating system you are using i'm uh, using a windows that's why i just download this sdk platform tools for windows from here when you download this uh, platform tools you need to go here in that uh, folder where is uh, where are all the files when you are here of course if you are using a windows machine you need to open a command prompt so where is uh, here the field just tap here when uh, when everything is marked just right here cmd when you are ready just hit enter and now the command prompt will be open directly where it's the platform tools folder this is important you need to be in that folder and now when we are ready here we need to connect our device to the computer my advice here is to always use the original cable coming in the box of your oneplus device now when the device is connected you need to write here in common prompt adb devices just to authorize our computer now just hit enter and wait the screen to appear here on your device i already authorized it so but uh, when uh, the screen appears here on your device to ask for permissions to authorize your computer just hit always allow this computer that's it now we are ready here and we need to unlock our bootloader how to do this here we can follow that simple guide again from another guy on xda developers chenman 3388 thanks man again just unlock bootloader by first rebooting phone with adb reboot boot loader and just copy that command here and go again to command prompt just uh, hit your right button of the mouse it will be paste and just hit enter and your device should be rebooted to your boot loader and here is the next command fastboot flashing unlock this will unlock your bootloader and erase everything from your device from here when you copy the command fastboot flashing unlock let's just move again to our command prompt and just paste that command and hit enter you can see a screen appears on our device which is uh, written by unlocking the bootloader you will be able to install custom operating system on this phone and so on and so on do not unlock the bootloader and unlock bootloader here you need to navigate with volume buttons select unlock the bootloader and just hit power button and now our bootloader is unlocked can be trusted your device will boot in five seconds you can see it's still color os guys again i will repeat do everything very carefully because you can break your device and that's it your oneplus 12 is completely wiped and it's with unlock bootloader now now again we need to move to the computer and from there we need to unzip the whole firmware we just downloaded let's just do it okay when it's extracted just open the folder and from here you will see that flash all super zip button 
that's the file that we need just twice tap on it and waiting for any device so the computer is waiting for our oneplus 12 and we need to boot it again in fast boot mode to do this just hold the power button on your device of course and select power off when you feel the vibration that means the device is off now just hold volume down and press power button and continue pressing then when oneplus logo appears release power button and now we are again in fast boot mode this is it now just connect your device with the usb cable and you can see it is directly starting now the flushing process is starting automatically from your pc just be patient and wait it and on the computer press any key to continue Again, just follow the steps, press any key to continue. It's written on your computer what to do now. At least we can see now it's trying to boot Oxygen OS. But we need to format but we need to format the data on the device. That's why I suggest here here press volume up and power button and uh, power off menu will appear swipe down for power off yes it vibrates that means it's power off and now again hold volume down and power buttons select recovery mode with uh, swiping uh, through the menu with the volume up and down buttons so recovery mode and press power button wait it a minute Here select English and select Format Data. And enter the verification code. It's written 5758. 5758. Format Data. All user data will be reset. and data formatted that's it now the device will be power off and here guys now device will start and you can use your oxygen os but my advice is the following if you want to use uh, google pay and if you want to receive uh, over the air updates after that you need to relock your bootloader when you are ready because if you didn't relock it in the bootloader now you need to do this later and the data will be again formatted that's it now it's easier if you don't use uh, unlock bootloader just relock it now i will do this now to do this of course we need to go again in fast boot mode by turn off the device power off again hold volume down and power and now we are in fast boot mode and here we will just open our cmd which uh, we previously opened and just scroll with the arrows to open the command fast boot flushing unlock which was to unlock the bootloader but now we will change it to fast boot flushing lock and just hit enter and here on the phone you can see what's happened a message appear do you want to lock the bootloader just swipe through the volume up and down buttons 
and select lock the bootloader remember this is a personal preference and that's it now the bootloader will be locked and device will start and we are ready with the computer we can move on our device of course everything will be wiped again and device will restart itself and you can see this is the oxygen os startup screen we are hello now and from here guys you can start setuping your oneplus 12 using oxygen os 14 now and we are now to the global market i will just show you that this is really oxygen os about device and you can see even the model now is cph2581 which is oneplus 12 and if you tap here you can check for updates if you want to thank me just don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my videos and again don't forget to give a credit to all these guys in xda developers and the guy from nclock.com because all these files and everything is coming from him so thanks mate for doing this possible for us that was it thanks for watching and have a nice day